2006 scoring of question one from form B. You have a function, find as f of x, and you have a region R shaded that is bound by the x-axis and the y-axis shown in the picture. And then you have a shaded region S that's bounded by the graph F and the line L, which is tangent to the graph of F at zero as shown above. So L is a tangent line to F of X at zero, going through that in, through that Y intercept. The first thing is find the area of region R. Well, area is going to be the integral of the function from some value here, which I'm going to call A, to zero of the function F of X dx. I'm going to have to find A. If I put this function into my calculator, I can use the zero function on my TI-84. So my TI-84, A equals, and if I run the value, I get one point, negative one point, three seven, three one, the four decimal places. So now I have to do the integral from negative one point, three seven, three one, to zero, of x cubed over 4 minus x squared over 3 minus x over 2 plus 3 cosine x dx. Now, I can use this in my calculator, so I inputted it and I got a value of 2.903 for three decimal places. Fourth decimal place is of one. And that would be the answer to the first problem, letter A. So we'll save that and we'll score it here in a second. I'll group, I'll group all this. Check it down. Put it right here for letter A. Alright, so for letter B. Find the volume of the solid generator when R is rotated about the horizontal line Y equals negative 2. Alright, so again, I'm picturing here this is going to be revolved about Y equals negative 2. So again, volume is always, since it's about a horizontal line, so y, volume is going to be from, again, I'll use the A to 0 of uh, A of X dx. And again, the area this time is going to be a ring. All right, where the inside radius is simply two, that'll be ri, and the outside radius is going to be two plus f of x. All right. Well, again, a to zero pi r o squared minus pi r i squared dx a to zero, bring the pi out, and I get r o is two plus f of x quantity squared minus two squared dx. Again, this is the problem where I can just input my calculator and a is still negative one point three seven three one from the previous problem. If I input this in my calculator and I hit calculate and I take three decimal places, I get 0 0.361. That's what's on my work for a couple of years ago. And it, it used to be three decimal places, we would add a fourth. As long as you had that, that is letter B. Group that and shrink that down. Get that over here. Unfortunately, lost that, so we'll break that down. That was f of x. All right, so now I got a and b. So now, letter c, write but do not evaluate. Write but do not evaluate. An integral expression that can be used to find the area s. Well, if I'm going to find s, the area, I'm going to need to know the equation of line L. And we know L is tangent, so I'm going to find F prime of X first, the letter C. I'm going to start there and get 3X squared over 4 minus 2X over 3 minus 1 half 
minus 3 sine x. And I want to know, and I probably didn't need to do the derivative actually, I probably could use my calculator now that I think about it. And I could have done this by ti. And I could put the function in and get the value of f prime of 0. But I'm going to finish the way I started. Your calculator would do this. So I would get 0 minus 0 minus half minus 3 times sine of 0, which is 0. So I get the derivative at 0 is negative 1 half. Now, f of 0, the original function, if I plug in 0 in the original function, I get 3. So I have an equation on the line. L is going to be, and since I got slope in a y-intercept, I could probably write it one, negative 1 half x plus 3. So that's the equation of L. Now I have an equation of two lines. So I just have to do the integral. And I know it goes from 0 to some intersection point out here, which I'll call B. So I have to go from 0 to B. The area is going to equal that. And I know it's going to be L minus f of x dx, all right? But I'm going to have to figure out b. So I use my ti84 to find the intersection of b. In this case, when I put those two lines in, I get b equals 3.3899. So now I have to write this out as one integral. can't leave it that way, so I go 0 to 3.3899. We have 1 half x plus 3 minus. Now I could leave f of x here, I'm sure. So I'll do minus f of x dx. And that would be the area of s. All right, let's group that. And then we're going to score these and see how we did. All right, I'll go to dual page. Let's score this and see how, how it all went. I have the answers on the next page. All right, so if I pull over A, let me pull A over. All right. The integrate is one point, which I have here, and the answer is one point, which I have there. So I get the two points there. On the next one, I leave this over on those, this side, just make it bigger so we can read it. All right. Limits and constant. I had P defined as that value. I have A, so same thing. And A squared, so there's my limits and constant are right here at the point. The integrate's 2, the answer is 1. So there's four points out of those four. Finally, on the last one, Tangent line is a point which I have here. The integrand is right here. And the limits, including that value, are right there, which I would get. So three. So we scored nine to nine. Again, this is 2006, question number one, it's a calculator problem.